In sister season, we can find that the text for today explores what it means to be a witness, the power of seeing and experiencing the resurrection firsthand. For those of us who weren't there in person to witness Christ's death, resurrection and ascension, a question persists. How do we give, give witness? How have we experienced Easter firsthand? What do we need to see, to touch, to hear in order to believe? In a sense, Thomas and his doubts speak to all humanity and their doubts. You can go home and stand in front of a mirror and discover a picture of Thomas. In many ways, every day we are like Thomas. We doubt. But then, when we doubt, we are invited to remember that Jesus is the one who comes to our humanity, even in the midst of our questions and doubts, bringing his grace and peace. It has been said in many ways that if we move from head to heart, belief takes on a different character. Perhaps our real struggle is to believe, to trust, that after a great suffering or heartache, we can go on with life. Like Thomas and the disciples, people can be skeptical about the resurrection, but they do not react the same way. When they turn their eyes to see the reality of the world where we live and the need of a new life, a renewal that we desperately need to transform our wounds and sorrows into something different and hopeful. People may wonder what the resurrection means for us now. We know the classic answer. It is the promise of eternal life. Death does not have the last word. But how is that hope translated into the daily rhythms of our lives? Like the disciples, we are also living in a time full of uncertainty, anxiety, doubt, and fear. Around us, people are living like the disciples, incarcerated in their fears or doubting, like Thomas, that there is a new way called resurrection. Fear, anxiety, and insecurity make us lock our doors. Not only physical doors, but also spiritual doors. We are living in an era of closed minds and coordinate cards, and souls to the possibility to experience the newness that God wants to bring to our life. The world is too busy focused on the flaws and the difficulties of the system that we as a society and a culture have forgotten that the risen Christ can break all barriers and come to us suddenly showing us that God can be with us in any time and space. God has the power to deliver us from our self-lockdown, from our COVID-19 sheltering in place, and take us to find freedom in a new normality. Thomas thought he needed to reach out and touch Jesus' wounds before he could believe in the resurrection. Confronted with the risen Christ, Thomas realized that that was enough. The question then is, what do people in this day think they need in order to believe? How does Jesus enter the locked rooms of our hearts these days? The answer is simple, and precisely for that reason it is hard to understand and accept this need. Jesus enters the locked rooms of our hearts today through song, through Eucharist, through baptism, through scripture, through prayer. This is the message of Christ for Thomas and the whole community of disciples. Faith and doubt are part of the same coin. Doubt is not the opposite of faith. Doubt is the opportunity that God gave us to experience the unexpected visit of the risen Lord when we are locked into the prison of our fears and anxieties. Doubt is the way that God uses to call our attention to the miracle of resurrection. Doubt is the challenge that God sent us to invite us to walk beyond the walls of our limited reason and logic. Doubt is the blessing that we receive every time that we can see that after the doubting moment, after the crisis of faith, we can have more love for the Lord and more security and more love for the world that God has created and renewed. Doubt 
dear congregation, is an opportunity. It's a challenge, but it's also a blessing, an open door that can help us to grow in our faith. Doubt is the invitation to believe again, to see, to touch, and to taste the living bread of heaven every day, every time, every season. Thanks be to God, who through our doubts make us grow more and more in our faith. He is risen, he is risen indeed. Hallelujah.